hello, my name is William Seal. I graduated at UNT with an MBA in strategic management in 2005. I am currently an accounting manager with Transform Co., as well as an adjunct instructor for Dallas College. Well, when I started at UNT, I really was looking into banking because um, at the time I was uh, working in, in the uh, commercial banking uh, side, and um, I wanted to look at possibly doing some management. But my undergrad at Lamar University was in accounting, so I really, after about a year at, um, at the bank and finishing with my MBA, I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and try to pursue accounting. And that's when I, um, I met up with, uh, at the time, Sears Holdings Corporation, now Transform Co., um, actually at a UNT uh, career fair about 14 years ago. So I've uh, been with Transform Co. now for 13 years. And um, I think it was a good idea for me to do that. My advice to uh, current students is look at your department. Um, look around. I know I found I was uh, blessed and fortunate enough to find a, a Ronald E. McNair fellowship program uh, just by asking people around in the business department. Um, it was a, a, a for first generation college students. Uh, I've gotten a lot of opportunities and for scholarships and grants that way. And the good thing about it is not only are you helping your current state, but a lot of times some of these uh, benefactors, the folks that, the benefactors that actually do the scholarships, they could possibly be a, a employer down the road. So it's kind of a mutual benefit um, of your current and your future. So I would say, look, look, look in your front, don't around your front door first, go to your department, uh, whether that be for me, it was the business department or whether, um, you just look around the campus, uh, talk to some people, get to know people, go out there and uh, network because while doing that, not only can you help yourself now, but you can possibly help yourself in the future. Well, my time at uh, UNC was really good for me, uh, dealing with multiple levels um, within the organization. So being in a classroom, just finishing my undergrad, um, you, you kind of have some trepidation there. You know, you don't know what, who's going to be in the class with you. It's going to be all just students. It's going to be all uh, professional folks. And I was fortunate to have a, a mix. So for me, it was being in groups and teams with this person who was a CFO of a local company, or this person that just finished their undergrad is straight out of school, or like me, maybe have a year or two of experience and being able to navigate that and communicate effectively with everyone, pay dividends to my current state that I'm in right now. I found my current role uh, actually at a UNT uh, career fair. Uh, I still remember her name, she's no longer with us, but her name was uh, Miss, Miss Jenny Kerr. And uh, actually, another gentleman that worked at Sears were the representatives for Sears at the career fair. Um, the, the career fair was it had a multitude of different companies, and it was it was very a free flow. They had a, a lot of people just helping you, you know, to navigate through everything. And I just stumbled upon uh, Sears Holdings there and had a good conversation. And from there, went into a group interview um, and got the job. Uh, went through, I was started as an analyst, uh, was doing that for about a year and went into the executive development program. We also outsourced. So I, I had the opportunity to travel to India at least five times now. Um, and so just being able to have those experiences and um, you just feel like you're ready for whatever is kind of thrown at you. And, and it started there at a career center, at a career fair. So I tell people that, hey, you may not think these things work, but they do. So, you know, so that's, that's pretty much where I'm at. And as far as adjunct instruction as well, uh, I've been doing that almost for nine years now. I felt that it was important for me if I was going to get an MBA that I, I wanted to use it to the best of my abilities. So one thing to do is in a way to give back and also get more experience was to break into teaching. So like I said, for me, my MBA, the Career Center, they've all kind of come together to uh, create a, a unique set of uh, circumstances for me to be able to, to go forward in my career. As far as toughest, it wasn't really the uh, questions per se. Uh, I, I believe for me, like this, this will 
kind of echo back to my experience in my MBA, but Sears had a group uh, a group interview uh, process, whereas they had directors, they even had accountants in there because they wanted to get a feel of how you interacted in different levels and were you able to be able to talk to a director in one breath and then be able to talk to an accountant in the other. So for me, that was that was a, a great experience in real time, real life, where it really mattered, not in the classroom setting. So I think that was one of my toughest as far as interview situations, not as far as questions, because it's, it's, it, you just never knew what type of question that you would get and how it would be framed. So the Career Center helped me uh, getting me in touch with my current uh, my current career and also allowed me to see what other opportunities were out there in the DFW area. Companies that I did not realize because I'm I wasn't originally from here. Um, I didn't even realize ha had a corporate presence here in the DFW area. You know, you may think that, you know, you may have a couple of outlets or whatnot in the area, but full-fledged corporate entities that I just had no idea, huge companies were here. So you just giving that that opportunity to to help you understand what oppor what opportunities you have. Sometimes going into these things, you're you're busy trying to graduate, you're busy trying to find a job. And especially if you're not from the area, you don't really know where to start sometimes. You can go online, but having someone there to help you along the way proved very beneficial to me. Well, as far as me, I, I really, um, I learned about UNT while I was at Lamar. Um, I, I got my undergrad from Lamar University in Beaumont, Texas. I was in, as I mentioned a little while earlier, I was in the Ronald E. McNair uh, Fellowship Program. And during that time, um, it helped you craft your dissertation or your uh, help you get into graduate school, get you exposed to where you may have not had that exposure to getting into graduate school. So what they did was we actually traveled up here to Denton um, for a symposium there where there was other Ronald E. McNair fellows uh, presenting their research. And that was an that was an awesome opportunity for me because I've I've never been in that in that environment in that situation. So did that actually got the Ronald e. McNair uh, Fellowship at UNT, and while I was at UNT, I went to the career fair and 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 bumped into my current employer, um, which is Sears Holdings, um, now called Transform Co. Um, also, when I finished my my masters I like I wanted to be able to utilize that masters to the fullest and I I felt that one of the ways to do that and one of the ways to give back is to actually break into academia or, or teaching uh, so I was fortunate enough nine years ago to start at Mountain View Community College which is now Dallas College um, doing business classes at night and I've been doing that for nine years now and I love it um, it's it's an, it's a cool opportunity because my my directors and my management have been super supportive um, to allow me to do this and to manage here as well. So so as far as for me, um, UNT has allowed me some opportunities and some doors uh, to go through and and to continue to go through, um, and I am fortunate for it.